and others. I ain't gonna give it all away. But y'all gonna have a good time. That's what y'all pay taxes for, it. So you can have a good time. Anybody property taxes went up? I don't know. Never... Timmy after me. You go, you go property tax when I go something wrong. Last year we increased our military by 0.81%. Everybody taxes went down. This year we increased our military 1.5%. I bet you everybody taxes still go down. Let me tell you why. Because your property value is so far down in the tube, it don't make no difference. You had an all-time low in, in your in your property taxes. How many here upside down? No raise your hand. I'm just teaching. I'm going to raise because I'm upside down. But your property taxes is, is threatening to go down another 5 to 10 percent this year. Mm -hmm. So if you got a house and you got a good house, you better stay in it. Or show sure can't sell it. But what does that mean? That means that I have less money to spend on essential services like fire, police, and parks. The cab county went up. 3% on the millage rate. Clayton County went up, 5% on the millage rate. Cobb County's millage rate is now 15.5. The great Cobb County is 15.5. Your millage rate ain't nowhere close to that. We have not laid out one fireman, we have not laid out one police officer, and we have not closed one park. How many of you heard the news read in the AJC last week about South Fulton County? You know what it said? If South Fulton County were a city, which we don't want to be, if South Fulton County was a city, it would be the best run city in Georgia. Because they charge so much for taxes. Now, that's pretty good coming from Atlanta during the constipation. They compared us to Milton, Johns Creek, Albany, Maker. They compared you all to that. And they said you're the best run. You're the best run place in the state of Georgia. And I believe it every day. You know, when you turn on your TV tonight, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. There's going to be a fire in the Cab County. How do I know that? Because there's always a fire in the Cab County. Somebody gonna shoot somebody in Johns Creek and Milton where her life's supposed to be so wonderful. <laughs> you look on TV now, all you hear is John Creek, Milton. But you very seldom hear anything about South Fulton County. We ain't perfect, but we ain't on TV a lot either. So we need to be, we're blessed to be where we are and do the things that we're gonna do. We made it through 2012 unscathed. But we got 2013 to think about, and the fact that these property rates. Do you all know that 8,000 people in unincorporated South Fulton County pay no taxes? Zero. I need to go there. If you got a house that's, that's appraised for $75,000, nine times out of 10, your payment to us is gonna be zero. Well, damn, I, that, well, because you must understand zero. that if you have a $75,000 house, we take 30, we only tax you on 40% of it. And you take that 40% of it and you take off your Avalon tax, not Avalon, but your homestead exemption and other, and other exemptions you may have, you're down to nothing. 8,000 people pay nothing. 5,700 people pay between zero and $50 a year. Another 5,500 pay between 50 and $100 a year. So I was going to tell you about the dilemma, right? That's the dilemma. We depend upon 68% of our income for, this, for unincorporated full economy comes from taxes. That ain't where you want to be. If you're married and your husband bringing in 68% of the income, you get a divorce, you, you're in bad shape. If we depend on 68% of tax money, for our income, and I tell you that property taxes are going down, we're in bad shape. We're in really bad shape. 
I don't predict that the, the economy's gonna turn around. They'll tell you, give it two years. They've been saying that for the last six years. I don't see the economy coming turning around anytime soon. So our challenge is that we're shrinking our dollars, but we're able to maintain. Because I ask people all the time, you know, when your money gets funny, it ain't rocket science in government. You got three things you can do. You can raise your taxes, you can cut your service, or you can do a combination of both. Now, if I came up in one night and said, I'm going to cut the police department by 20 million, 20 people, or I'm going to cut the fire department in half, you all wouldn't like that, would you? But be in my shoes for a minute when you ain't got the money you ain't supposed to have, and you still want to make sure that you all have the kind of service that you need. When you call the fire department or police department, you don't want to get an answer machine. You don't want to do that. So we're great in South Fulton this, this year. Now some of you see me, we're building a new health facility in South Fulton County to the tune of $2.6 million. How many of y'all know where the old South Fulton Government Center was? Where I used to be? On Stonewall Town down the street? Well, we're gonna renovate that and turn it into a regional health facility. Why are you doing that, Bill? Because there's no health facility between College Park and Palmetto. It's needed. It's going to be a full health facility. Dental and everything. You can see we're going to have a nursery in. So when you come to get health screens and stuff like that, you put the child in the nursery while you're doing your thing. We're still going to have the, uh, the tag place over there. But it's going to be a regional health facility and it should be online by the end of this year for a total of $2.6 million. I think that's a wonderful thing for South Florida County. So we're doing well. Next year, it's challenging. Here's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about because so many people not paying taxes. I'm thinking about doing what is called a fire assessment. That's nothing new. It's all over the world, especially in Florida. In Fayette County, you pay a lighting assessment. Comes on your tax bill. You know what it's for? It's for the street lights you get. So I'm going to start looking at a, an assessment. Let me tell you what that does. That frees my money up that I pay for fire, and I can use the money budget for fire to put in the police. With a fire assessment, you all could run the whole fire department with no problem. Because we're now on those $8,000, 8,000 homes are not paying me anything, now they begin to pay me something. Guess who else will pay me? If world changes burn down tonight, God hope forbid it don't, guess what happens? They'll call the fire department, right? Guess how much money world changes pays the fire department? Zero. Your church don't pay nothing too, so don't get kind of funny on me. None of y'all churches paying nothing. Under fire search assessment, churches pay. I was with a pastor today because I'm talking to all the pastors. I was with a pastor today. He said, I'm willing to pay my fair share yeah, right. under these circumstances. I'm willing to pay my fair share, but churches will pay. The other people that's going to pay all in the warehouse, you got no food in Industrial Boulevard with a million square foot, they will pay too. So if we can do this, and I'm not going to, I'm going to be meeting with people from day to day to talk about what they think about it show you what we're doing, get you your input, and we're gonna come up with something that we all can live with. Now last, let me tell you, we gotta make sure that we do things for our children. This is the most, this is the greatest school in South Fulton County. <laughs> he knows, I ain't saying that to be saying it, I say that cause I mean it. This is the greatest school. You know why it's the greatest school? Cause everybody wanna get in Stonewall to tell them in. Folks will start lying about their address just to get in Stonewall Child Elementary. But if I catch them, they're going to jail. <laughs> this is a classic example where you have a good school. You have a great community. Without good schools, we don't have great communities. Nobody's going to build a million dollar house somewhere and the child can't be educated. 51% of your tax dollars goes to the school system. 
And what are you getting in return outside of Stonewall telling some others? What's the return on your dollar? And now they tell you that they want to go to a charter school system. Don't let them people fool you. They're already ready for a charter school system up north. A charter school system is nothing but the first step in the separating this county into Milton and, Clint and Campbell. They already got it together up there. Let me tell you why I think it don't work. It won't work. I'm looking at y'all and I'm proud of y'all here in the PTA meeting. But I'm going to tell you I'm going to school where there's only been five or six people at a PTA meeting. But they want you to run your school with a governor's board when you can't get five people to come to a PTA meeting? How are you going to do that? We got issues that we need to take care of in our school right now. I sat here to on the awards day. I've never been so proud in all my life. When you got children, they talk about passing the CRCT. They got three or four children. This man had children on, that come up with us, they just passed every portion of the CRCT. I wish we had more Mr. Flanaris in this school system. Then we don't have to worry about some of the things that we're worrying about today. That jailhouse is full. Jailhouse is full. Y'all paying $97 million a year to keep them fools locked up. $97 million a year. What if you took that money, half that money, and turned it around to educating prevention and things of that nature? You wouldn't have a need to have a jailhouse. So we got to keep the main thing the main thing. I have five youth programs. And guess what? I got youth leadership for boys, I got youth leadership for girls, and guess where most of the students come from? Stonewall Tech. <laughs> and they're with me all year. They're with me all summer. I have one thing to say about it. When you come to my program, if you play football and basketball, if my program interferes with your football and basketball, you need to go play football and basketball. But my program is not going to go around your athletic problems. And you, and you go to school all year. Most of my kids come from here. I got a program called Teen Dad. My youngest dad is 14. Jesus Christ. I got two 17-year-olds who got three babies apiece. With three Dear God babies. in heaven. I have another program called Priceless University for girls from, seven, from 12 to 17. They teach them the social graces. Etiquette. How to act, walk, and dress like a woman. It's important. I'm using your tax dollars to do that. Can you find a better way for me to spend it? There is no better way for me to spend your tax dollars than on your children. I ran a truancy program last year. I spent two hundred fifty thousand dollars on truancy. I put, I picked up one thousand students last year that should have been in school. The youngest one I picked up was from elementary school. Walking around South Wilson County doing nothing when they should have been in school. I cannot fund that program again, so I, I took what I did and gave it to the school system. Guess what they did with it? Something. Nothing. So in closing, let me say this. There's a lot of things in the future we're going to be doing. We're going to bring plays to the South Wilson uh, uh, Performing Arts Center. Have you all been there yet? We're going to bring more plays to the South Fulton Performing Arts Center. We're also going to bring more entertainment to Cliftondale. Did you know that the South Fulton Art Center is in Cliftondale? Mm. Did you know you have two art centers? One on New Hope Road and one in Cliftondale. You're going to be able to come to Cliftondale. And we're going to have a great time with the, with the, with the uh, South Fulton Amphitheater. Lastly, four new libraries. Building a 25,000 square foot library on Enon Road. Now when I tell you I'm going to build it, I ain't tell you I'm out there begging the money in the bank. We just need to start building. 25,000 square foot library on Enon Road. We're building a 10,000 square foot library in Palmetto. 
I'm increasing the library on Cascade Road by additional 10,000 square feet. And I'm also taking the library. We were gonna, we were going to increase the library on Flat Shows Road. Y'all remember that one? We're gonna increase it by 10,000 square feet. But guess what? The topography is so bad over there that you're not gonna be able to, to, to squeeze in 10,000 square feet. So guess what you're gonna get? Another new library. We're gonna continue to do good. I just need you all to support me. If I bring things to you, I need your input, I need your voices. I didn't get here by myself, and I ain't gonna run it by myself. Y'all put me here, and I gotta say this, you help me run it. Mm -hmm. I don't know everything, you need to help me run it. So all I gotta say to you is good things are happening in South Fulton County. Keep your head up, we're gonna continue to do right, no matter what the land of journey and constipation says about us. <laughs> we know what we're doing, and we know who we are, don't we? And I'm going to fight every time they turn around, just like I fought for that money they took for us in North County. Y'all saw that TV show? They took $40,000 y'all money. You know I had to get it back. <laughs> I had to get it back. But I'm going to stop a lot of stuff. The $4, 000, the $4 million of your money that went to Grady was wrong. Hmm. I love Grady. I support Grady. But I'm not going to pay you for something you didn't do. And that's what John E's and the rest of them did. Oh, I call it me. John E, Hausman, Lowe, and what's the other name, love? What's the other name? John, whatever name is. John Garner. I call it names. I ain't scared. If you don't stand up, I ain't scared for you. They gave your money away. Four million dollars. They gave to Grady when Grady didn't even deserve it. I'm not going to get in that. That's going to take too long. But once again, y'all stay with me. Pray with me. Pray for me. It ain't easy out here. Right. It really is. And I challenge each one of y'all to become members of, of Citizens University. Any Citizens University graduates in here? All right. Listen, talk to her. Let her tell you about Citizens University. Get involved with Citizens University. Because it's easy to say how no good bill is. It's easy to say that. Easy for you to frown and look at me crazy. Yeah, that's easy. Because I'm in front of you. But when you know about government, what you should know about government, your, am I right? Your attitude changes. 100%. When we give you a budget, when she was in Citizens University, we gave her some money and said, here it is, I want you to balance it. It's hard. It's hard to balance the needs of the people. So once again, thank you all so much. Good things are happening in South Fulton County. You're great people, and you're in the best school in America. <laughs> Stonewall Tell, thank you all so much. <laughs>